The Dell XPS 13 with the Snapdragon X Elite has now been out for more than a year, bringing lots of excitement about the future of Windows laptop. It promised to be ultra fast, powerful, efficient, packed with smart AI features, and of course, it is positioned as premium device. After plenty of daily use, I'm ready to talk about what it's actually like to live with and if it's a direct competitor with Apple. Let's get into it. My first impression opening the box, this feels every bit as premium as you would expect from an XPS. The packaging is sleek and inside are just the essentials. That's the charger and the laptop, the 60 watt charger though. That's it. I have the graphite color. It looks really fantastic and professional, but it does pick up dust and fingerprints quickly. The overall design is ultra minimal, super compact and you only get two USB Type-C ports, no extras. Where this really shines is portability. It is extremely light, about 2.6 pounds. It honestly feels more like a tablet than a typical laptop, thanks to the Snapdragon chip and no bulky cooling system. The specs and configuration used for this review is the Snapdragon X Elite XE8300 with 3.4 GHz. It has a 32 GB RAM and 1TB of storage. It's a 13.4 inch display with 2.5K touch screen and it also comes with 120Hz refresh rate. It also has a Qualcomm Adreno X185 GPU and it weighs about 26 pounds, 1.17 kg. The keyboard feels premium with a really nice backlight but there are two issues. The keys are edge to edge which makes typo pretty common and the power button is right next to the backspace. I'm always worried that we'll accidentally put the laptop to sleep while typing. The trackpad is honestly the best I've used on a Windows laptop. It is a seamless haptic design, extremely smooth and super responsive. You basically forget it's even there beneath your hands and it just works every time. If you are finding this helpful, please like the video and subscribe now. It helps the channel get you more honest review. Thank you. The 13.4 inch 2.5K display is one of this laptop's best features. It is incredibly sharp. Colors are vivid and even 8K YouTube playbacks run smoothly. The 124Hz refresh rate makes scrolling and touch inputs feel fluid and modern. With 32GB RAM, performance is excellent. I can have a bunch of Chrome tabs, coding workloads and even some light video editing going on at once with no slowdown. Most modern apps are now ARM native, but some like Chrome can still freeze or lag from time to time. Things have improved a lot over the years, but not everything is perfect. This isn't a gaming laptop, but the Andreno GPU can handle mid-tier and casual gaming fine. For productivity and relaxing games, it does the trick, but don't expect to play any demanding AAA games on high settings. AI features like Copilot and Recalls are interesting, but I still use tools like ChatGPT and Gemini most of the time. On-device AI hasn't really changed my workflow, I have no idea how to use those. For heat and noise, under light use, it is nearly silent, but if you push it, like with video editing or gaming, the fan gets pretty loud and it heats up. For battery life, Windows claim up to 10 hours, but I actually get around 5 hours in light use and about 3 hours when I'm working it hard, sometimes 2 hours. It charges quickly though with, with the 60 watt charger and you can get out up in around one hour. The speakers are excellent, premium sound, loud and clear. The 1080p webcam gives a sharp, clean video call and I love the portrait mode and eye contact trick. You don't also get any annoying bloatware, just a clean window setup. This laptop is a great pick for students, developers and frequent travelers who need a light premium and ultra portable device. People who need the ultimate in performance or want to game seriously might want to look at other options. One reason I'll buy this computer is for the 2.5K 120Hz display, its ultra light premium build, the top tier invisible haptic feedback, excellent multitasking with 32GB RAM, 1TB storage, loud and clear speakers with sharp webcam. But then the reason why I would not buy this computer is it has just two USB-C ports, it has awkward power button placement, the fan gets hot and loud. It is still not as cool as the MacBook Air and battery life is still less than advertised. Bottom line, if you want a great design, a top-notch display, ultra portability and the power of the 32GB, 1TB storage, 
you will be happy if you're okay with the pricks. What is the number one thing you look for in a laptop? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.